for this look. Keep watching. Well, this is the first time I'm going to be commenting on myself. And hello there ladies and gentlemen, don't I look pretty without makeup? I hope so. My eyes tell a very different dark story though. And I'm tying my hair up in a tight bun. Then I'm going to spray it with hairspray so that when I open it, my curls hold up. My favorite lip balm is called Pucker. You can get it on my car. It's a very good lip balm, tastes amazing and smells good as well. Gives a little tint. This is MAC foundation. I am just dropping it all over my face. I'm a little messy when it comes to me, you know, putting some makeup on and I love my hands because it's easy, it's fast and the warmth of your hand helps your makeup blend in nicely with your skin and not a lot of brushes to wash because I'm lazy like that. Now I'm concealing my dark circles which really need to be concealed. Um, this is a MAC concealer, I don't know which one though. Yeah. Uh, it's better but not completely concealed. I will do a different thing later on. Now I'm putting my tint on. That is a Benetint for blush. I'm loading it on because it's going to disappear eventually. <laughs> but this is nice because it stays, you know, the blush stays for a long time. And now loose powder to set my base in place. <laughs> And a lot of blending guys. Did you really think makeup was that easy and that fast? No, this is on fast forward. This took me 3 hours to do, you know, like makeup and dress. So now I'm brightening my under eyes. This is a wet and wild correcting palette kind of thing which helps brighten my under eyes. I'll even brighten the bridge of my nose, my T-zone, my upper lip and my chin area because it brings out my features now get ready for the glittery glittery eye i love this palette by anastasia it's called norvina i love i generally like anastasia products it's actually pretty good it's very pigmented and don't be scared to play with them uh, keep going back and forth until unless you're satisfied with the color so i i take little little and build it up basically I like doing that because once I go dark, it gets really difficult to blend it out. So it's easier to go from light to dark. So I keep going back when and whenever I require it or possibly. Yeah, blend, blend, blend. You know, it takes so long to do this and it's so nice to watch <laughs> that it's so fast. And this is a life changer. This is Swiss Beauty metallic eyeshadow it is so amazing it changed my whole life because it's so beautiful can you just see how beautiful it looks takes a while to dry though now i'm going to take shimmer and again pack on some more shimmer on top of that because i just want it so blingy uh but wait i'm not done yet i'm gonna add more and more shimmer and i'm going to blend more <laughs> I'll get into the palette again, blend out the crease and all the harsh lines that I created so that it gets softer, looks effortless. You know, effortless doesn't really mean effortless. There goes a lot of effort to make it look effortless. This is Kiko Milano single eyeshadow um, thing. I don't know what it's called. It's, it's a cute probably. So yeah, it's just to darken my eyes like my soul. <laughs> Yeah, and then mascara. I poked my eyes a couple of times. <laughs> so then I decided to go off camera and finish my mascara top and bottom lashes. This is Color Bar Loose um, Glitter. And you know, did you know this hack? I was told by a friend that you can put lip balm and add glitter on. And it was so amazing. It actually held up pretty well. I was like, what? And it's not even like, you know the uncomfortable thing that happens with eye glue and you know all of that jazz but yeah the effect was a little subtle the eye glue the effect is stronger so you can select according to what you like i'm bronzing myself so that i can cut all my extra you know stuff around my face which i'm you know i love cutting it <laughs> and contouring it to be double sure that i've cut out everything properly <laughs> Now this is ooh, my favorite highlight. This is from Inglot. It's Jennifer Lopez. Um, the lighter version. I have to check the name. 
everything will be linked down below in the description box so you can find all the products that i've used oh my god this is just blinding to the gods i love it so much oh my god look at it and now i am opening the inner corner of my eye with the same highlighter yay get so excited with shimmer and highlight i swear i can just keep doing this all day <laughs> I'm taking off my lip balm, getting my lips prepped for lipstick. I like this uh, Elizabeth Arden lipstick because it's very moisturizing but it's very glossy so I love topping it up with Tri Sugar. Tri Sugar on the other hand is extremely dry. This is the Smudge Me Not range. I will mention the lipstick colors and everything in the description box so you can check them out. But it is amazing. You know, it looks so good when it dries. Now I'm putting some MAC fixing spray. And it makes you look a little oily at times when you spray your face. So I'm just, you know, putting the compact, MAC compact on places where I'm extra shiny. Still adding the shine back on my bridge of the nose and the cupid's bow on my lips. Because I love shine. And hold up. Bow to the queen. Um, or royalty. <laughs> Thank you for watching.